Hi, I'm Lauren. I am findable at official Lauren Brown on most social media platforms. So anyway, happy Monday. And what has been making my Monday fun is actually learning about Wolf Rayette stars. So these are pinwheel stars, or at least stars that create a pinwheel shaped dust cloud. Um, I have a link to it in my story and um, the article is just amazing. But essentially, these are stars that are about uh, 20 to 200 times um, more massive than our um, sun, our solar uh, star. And uh, the really cool thing is to learn that although they are um, super massive, they are actually quite young. So where our star its lifetime is counted in billions of years. The um, the Wolf Rayette stars have uh, their life spans counted in tens of millions of years. Of course, you know, I don't have all of these exactly. I'm not an astrophysicist or generally an astronomer, but um, it's just really exciting to learn about this kind of stuff. The fact that essentially these stars have less hydrogen than stars like our own. And as a result, they uh, quickly burn through their hydrogen um, reserves and they move to more incandescent fuel. And so they burn brighter and they also come in binary pairs. And it's that gravitational pull of the orbits, uh, that elliptical orbit between these, these, these two stars, that gravitational pull trying to find um, stasis that basically allows these pinwheel shapes, which is the dust cloud off of the stars to um, happen. So what I really loved was learning about the fact that since most of the, um, these supermassive stars are so um, intense and their radioactivity is at orders of magnitude larger than, again, stars like our own in our solar system. Um, technically, for the scientists who have been studying this for, you know, over 100 years. So I think it was in the 1920s when most of the, um, the initial uh, understandings of Wolf Rayet stars, as the pinwheel stars are known, um, came about. But uh, essentially, there was a, um, there's this understanding that they should technically, due to their radioactivity, blow up. Like there is enough um, radioactivity in these stars that the average uh, uh, star would destroy itself. Um, and I think that's probably, and of course I'm guessing, you know, um, definitely read the article in my stories. But it's really, really fun. I'm guessing that uh, that extreme, uh, you know, heat and churn is is also what leads to such short lifespans. Um, I guess you live hard, you go out pretty hard, uh, even if you're a star, literally. Um, and uh, yeah, and so it's really cool. I think science is one of those things that is such an open space for excitement and exploration. Go and read the article. Again, it's in my story. I have the link and um, have fun. And I hope your Monday is positive and just sending you uh, flowers and non-radioactive wonderful solar wind. Oh, and that's the other thing. Uh, the solar wind on um, of a Wolf Rayet star, if you were to compare it to the solar wind of a sun like ours, is like comparing, you know, blowing hot air or like taking a breath to the force of a water cannon. Like that's amazing. And um, so to think that, that that pinwheel that we see is due to the the binary companion star uh, spinning and its dust and the solar wind of the um, the pinwheel star specifically uh, pushes like all of this matter out 
uh, enough that it turns much cooler and is able to actually create you know a very clearly and distinct shell like a like a an, an elliptical shell almost like what you see in um certain uh like for crustaceans that kind of beautiful shell pattern um and yeah so the universe we live in is exciting it is amazing um you know these dust clouds are sending matter all through the universe and helping to build other stars and you're made of stardust and i'm made of stardust and you know Science has its moments where it can be just as magical as fantasy, <laughs> which is amazing. Um, but yeah, happy Monday. And um, yeah, don't forget to follow me, Official Lauren Brown, spelled all the traditional ways, no spaces, no periods or anything like that. Um, and yeah, see ya.